Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, welcome to another uh, question solve fixer. That is the question. A 22 years old man is involved in a fight. He sustains a laceration to the posterior aspect of the wrist. In the emergency department, the wound is explored and the laceration is found to be transversely oriented and overlies the region of extensor retina club, which is intact. Which of the following structure is least likely to be injured in this scenario? So here we can uh, see a 22 years old man involved in fight. He sustained a laceration in the posterior aspect of the wrist. So first point, posterior aspect of the wrist and this is transversely oriented. In the posterior aspect of the wrist, there is a wound and this, this uh, uh, is transversely oriented and overlies the regions of the extensor retina column and extensor retina column is intact. So this point is very very important that the extensor retina column is intact that means the structure which lies beneath the extensor retina column or below the retina column or deep the retina column this structure is saved. So which of the following structure is least likely to be injured in the scenarios. So which uh, of the structure uh, gets uh, less risk. So uh, the structure which lies uh, below the extensor retina column it will be intact because extensor retina column intact so uh, the structure which lies beneath the extensor retina column that will not be injured so here are the options dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve tendon of extensor indices basilic vein superficial branch of radial nerve and cephalic vein. So we have to find out one of the uh, option here which will be intact in uh, this scenario. So here we can uh, see the wrist. Uh, in the first picture, uh, this is the extensor retina column which lies at, at the wrist and we can see the deep structure lies uh, 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 here and they are the tendons and we can uh, see here extensor policies brevis extensor policies longus and other tendons here extensor indices and here the extensor dgt and other tendons so we can see here the tendons which lies below the extensor retina column at the radius at the at dorsal view so in the dorsal view or dorsal part the tendons this lies deep to this retina column this extensor retina column so this tendon will not be induced if the extensor retina column intact here we can see the whitish structure they are the uh, deep fascia of the hand deep fascia of the upper limb the white structure here we can see in the wall around the white structure they are the deep fascia and above the deep fascia the structure present and uh, at this point there is extensor retina column present here we can see the extensor retina column uh, just like there there are extensor retina column and outside the structure uh, extensor retina column we can see the veins and name of the veins uh, this is the basilic vein and cephalic vein and dorsal venous network so this uh, basilic vein and the cephalic vein they uh, can be injured in this case but uh, the tendon which lies below the extensor retina column they will be intact so first of all the basilic vein and the cephalic vein the basilic vein and cephalic vein they will have chance to be uh, injured if the injury occurs in the transverse at the wrist at the extensor retina column but other structure like this tendon they will be intact and if the injury occur in the more distally then the dorsal venous arch it will also be injured if this place there uh, in this picture we can see here uh, the, uh, this structure uh, the whitish structure this is the extensor retina column 
and here also we can see the tendons which is the most uh, important structure here these tendons these 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 tendons they uh, goes just below the extensor retinaculum so if the extensor retinaculum intact there is no chance of injury of this tendon but we can see the two nerve which uh, passes just above the extensor retinaculum here this nerve this nerve is uh, radial branch uh, from the radial nerve uh, there is a superficial branch so superficial branch of radial nerve superficial branch of the radial nerve uh, it has uh, the chance of injury in this procedure as the injury occur just like this transversely and here we can see another nerve this is dorsal branch of the ulnar nerve so dorsal branch of ulnar nerve and superficial branch of the radial nerve uh, they have every uh, chance of injury during uh, this procedure or during uh, this type of injury but the uh, tendons and other structure which lies below the uh, extensor retina column and sometimes the vessels and nerve uh, which goes uh, below the extensor retina column they will be intact so in the previous picture uh, we saw that the two important vein uh, the basilic vein and cephalic vein uh, they may be injured and in this picture we can see the superficial branch of radial nerve and dorsal branch of uh, ulnar nerve uh, they have signs of injury so here we can see the structure superficial to the retinaculum to the extensor retinaculum uh, they are the basilic vein and cephalic vein two important vein basilic vein and cephalic vein and two important nerve they are dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve and superficial branch of the radial nerve so this important four structure they lie superficial to the extensor retina column at the wrist and uh, the dorsal aspect so a transverse incision in the dorsal aspect of the uh, wrist uh, at the level of extensor retina column there is sense of injury to this structure this basilic vein cephalic vein two important vein and nerve dorsal branch of the radial nerve and superficial uh, dorsal branch of the uh, ulnar nerve and superficial branch of the radial nerve they have chance of injury but other structure lies below the extensor retina column uh, uh, such as other uh, tendons vessels and other nerve which lies below the extensor retina column they have no chance of injury and we always need the, the tendons uh, which is very very important so uh, they should be uh, covered by a special structure and the tendon usually moves around uh, during flexion and extension so uh, they should be wrapped in a well structure and this is structure usually retina column uh, in this case extension retina column and ad in other cases they may be deep fascia or other structure so here our final answer is a tendon of the extensor indices because it is one of the muscles so in case of muscles uh, we can see the muscle tendon usually lies deep to the extensor retina column so there is no chance of injury of this tendon but uh, here the dorsal branch of the ulnar nerve basically superficial branch of the radial nerve and cephalic vein uh, they have signs of injury